Hey guys, so um, I've never left the house at this hour. It's 8 o'clock and um, there's a bunch of high schoolers outside. I imagine they're waiting for school buses. So I was going to take the route I took yesterday to work, but that route goes to the high school. And if there's high schoolers going out right now, I don't want to get behind a school bus or students, which would totally blow. Anyway, so I am leaving work uh, like an hour earlier than I normally leave around nine. Um, I got up at 6.30, but I showered last night because after I last vlogged, I we had dinner and then Tino left to go to his, what is it? Um, you know, he went on a retreat on the weekend. They had like a follow-up meeting last night. So he went last night. He got out at like nine something and came home around 9.30 and then we did P90X after he got home. Hey guys, so I have you on the dashboard again because I'm tired of messing with the two mounts. They both suck balls. Anyway, I just want to say that apparently I had my head up my butt and I didn't even realize that today was 9-11. 12 years ago, I was a junior in high school and I was in history class when they said stop class and turn on the TVs. And it was middle of the day and I remember watching the videos and people next to me just started bursting out in tears. And I honestly could not fathom what we were watching. I couldn't believe what was happening. I'm like, what? I don't understand. I couldn't understand it. I, it didn't, it made no sense to me. I was like, what? Someone just ran a plane into a building? Like, it looked like a terrible accident. So I was like, oh my God, that's so bad. And then it wasn't until later that, you know, we learned it was a terrorist attack. And it was like, oh my God, like, this is crazy. Like, what do we do? I mean, we're high school students. What do you do at that point? And you, you don't do anything. And people were bawling their eyes out and I didn't understand why. And I, I was upset about what had happened, but I wasn't crying about it because I didn't, I guess I just couldn't grasp what was happening. And now as an adult and now as a defense contractor, like thinking about it makes me wanna just burst out in tears. And I finally understand why everybody else was just crying their eyes out because it was more than just a plane crashing into a building or a plane crashing into the the Pentagon. It was way more than that. And and like, you know, now that I work for as a defense contractor, well, in this case, I'm more a deterrence contractor because I work for the Navy. But either way, you know, working as a contractor for the military, I come to appreciate what it is that our country does for us and what our military in particular does for us. And I remember my first year of college, I was like huge about promoting, you know, military services, giving them better pay, better benefits. I've always been a supporter of the military because I grew up in a military family. I am an Air Force brat. My ex-husband was um, enlisted and my current husband was an Air Force Academy grad. So, you know, for me, military has always been in my life and it just, days like this make me realize how frustrated I am with the current system, with the military, and how they're not taken as seriously as they used to. Hey guys! I am parked in a weird spot in the parking lot because when I got here, the parking lot was full. Super sucked. But I am heading out to choir practice. So I am leaving. It is 5.35. I'm going to be late, but it is what it is. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a good time, good week. It's Wednesday. Tomorrow is my Friday. It is Thursday, and this is my Friday off week. And my husband's cousin is coming to spend the weekend with us. And Bethany's white party is also this weekend, so I am very excited. Hey guys, I'm home now, and we're about to do... P90X, uh, biceps, triceps, and shoulders, and no muscle. Um, 
<sighs> feeling pretty fat right now, but it's all good. And I'm pretty excited because this is one of my favorite ones. I think I've said that like eight times today. Oh, it's shoulders and arms. Dang it. Where's the biceps, triceps, and shoulders? Chest, is shoulders, and triceps. So this is just shoulders and arms, which is the same thing, biceps, triceps, and shoulders. I just called it the wrong thing. <laughs> hey guys, my mount is being weird. They're always being weird. I'm getting to the point where I think I'm not gonna be able to vlog in my car anymore. So I'm on my way to work, it's 8.05. And again, I'm gonna be late. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna probably get to work at like 8.45. Um, my new position, um, they like to have people at work at 8.30 or earlier. Some people get in at 7.45 at this group, so I'm like, oh, dang it. So now I'm gonna be late again. I got in at 8.45 yesterday. So, hey guys, it is 6.20 and I am now leaving work. So I stayed um, a good, 40 minutes? No. When I get to work. I got to work at 8.40. So yeah, I spent an extra 40 minutes um, just making up some work. It's been a little crazy sitting where I'm sitting now because people think they can assign me more stuff now that I'm sitting closer, but it's like I still have a lot of other work to do, people, and so they just keep giving me more and more work, and it's actually good but it's kind of stressful at the same time because like I can't meet all the things that they want me to meet and so I can't, I'm at the point where I'm having to tell people like no. Hey, good morning guys. It's Friday, it's crown day, I'm nervous. It's like 7.20, I'm gonna paint a base on my nails for now and then later I'm gonna do some more stuff with it but I'm gonna at least paint my nails before we go. And I'm not gonna, like I just mentioned, I'm not gonna do my makeup. Or did I mention it? I don't know. I'm not gonna do my makeup because I wanna film my makeup later. And they're gonna be doing stuff in my mouth area. So this whole area is gonna be jacked up anyway. So I'm like, what's the purpose of doing makeup? It's gonna get all messed up. And so I'm not gonna do makeup this morning. Uh, but today is gonna be a busy day because Such is coming this weekend to stay with us. And we gotta get the house prepared. So. It's gonna be a lot of stuff to do in the house and then there's stuff I wanna film before she gets here. Cause then when she's here, I don't really wanna be filming or messing around with that. Yeah! Yay guys, guess what? My, that was the best crown appointment ever. I still don't like dental work, but considering five of the six crowns I've ever gotten were crazy, crazy painful. And this is the first time that it was not. I didn't feel a thing. I did notice when he was working on my gums, but it wasn't painful. Like I could just feel that it was he was working on it. But he took his time and he was so gentle. He is like seriously the best dentist ever. Like and he's like a super perfectionist and it makes sense because he's Asian. <laughs> um Asians typically typically tend to be that way. Like very stringent and strict and perfectionists and so I, I love that he's the stereotypical Asian because he is an amazing dentist he did a great job I seriously am serious that every crown I've ever had before was so painful and people never understood that they're like crowns aren't supposed to be painful and I'm like so either my new dentist is just super balls, or my last dentist was a piece of shit anyway um, we go into Starbucks and of course I got my usual except it's a new girl, so she messed it up and accidentally got whipped cream on it. And then I got a cake pop, a birthday cake pop. And I'm going to share it with Tina because typically I just annihilate them in like one big bite. But I'm going to share it with him this time because he's never had one. And then we're going to go to Publix and then we're going to go home. Tina's got a headache and I need to start cleaning the house for Sacha. And I want to paint my nails. What is this? It's a, uh, swordfish? Swordfish? No, it's, lo no. it's long a long tail tilapia. Long tail tilapia. But it's N E R W I C H. I can't pronounce it. I'm not even going to pretend like I know what that is. It's fish. And then Tina got fish and chips. And I got steak and lobster, lobster thermidora with garlic mashed potatoes. We're at Bonefish Girl, by the way. It's absolutely gorgeous here. You do that. Not many, you know? So, it's just crazy. My food didn't survive. Did you finish all yours? 
Yeah, buddy. Oh and man, I never finish my food. And took the plate. <laughs> hey guys, it's Monday. Whew. It's 8.30 and I'm heading to work now. And uh, looks like they're starting to place the frames, the little wood frames on the ground of the lot next to us to start pouring the concrete foundation. But uh, anyway, things seem to be going well. 